Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's race versus uh, V Resner and King Doll. I think I'm joined by Yunos. Yeah, you are. Hey, hello. What's, what's up, Yunos? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much. Yeah, thanks uh, for jumping in on commentary. Yeah. So uh, we have a race between uh, Res, who is two and zero, and King Doll, who is one and one. Um, who knows? Who knows how it decided to pair these two together, but. Uh, it had to be had to be that way. Somebody had to play an uneven match, uh, a, a statistically uneven match. But I don't think that this is that uneven. Yeah, I, I think this is an interesting match because uh, you mentioned their records. Um, you know, Res being two and zero, King Doll one and one. King Doll I think has way more randomizer experience, but Res has a lot more just general Zelda two experience. Mm -hmm. So. I think that's why. I mean, he's he's played a lot of rando too, but I don't think he's played as much as King Doll has. So, um, has been doing quite well though, uh, despite that. So it'll be interesting to see how well King Doll's extra rando experience will come into play today. Indeed, uh, V Res. Um, I don't. I hadn't even heard of him when I started playing this game and that was less than two years ago um, and now he's a, he's definitely I think he's uh, maybe 6th or 7th in 100% all keys yeah I want to say he's got like a 77 or 76 yeah. maybe I think yeah I think he's uh, he's under opus in that so you know that's something actually he is he, uh, I don't remember but yeah yeah he's quite he's got a, quite a bit of uh, Zelda 2 speedrunning experience so yeah, and the countdown has started, so as soon as Twitch Delay catches up, we'll be off and running here. There goes Rez. And there goes King Doll. I'm going to pause Rez's stream real quick here to sync him up. Okay, I'm at 13, 14, 15 right now. Okay. Uh, I'm about to restart, and I'm at... 11. Oops, I just screwed that up. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> How do I even sync streams? I don't know. All right. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pause for like 15 seconds here. And I see a grass tile. Uh, King Doll with a quick up A. I'm not sure what happened. He probably just ran into an encounter he didn't like. We got some boots, though, on that grass tile, so that's a great early find. And a little digger in that forest tile. We're rising to the medicine cave now, right? Yep. That's right. Yeah, I wonder what he thinks of uh, these different enemy sets, because one of the things you get used to as a Zelda 2 speedrunner is knowing exactly what enemy you're going to be coming up on next, and uh, in the rando you certainly can't depend on that. Still syncing up, I'm sorry. And a 50 point pee bag in Medicine Cave. Oh. <laughs> That's about as bad as it gets, only thing worse is maybe like a red jar. Who can we blame for that? Yeah. There's a 200p bag chilling in the other forest uh, encounter that King Doll just found, though. He's about to pick up the boots himself. Oh, well, early boots is nice. They'll be able to cross any water hazards and uh, make quicker work of the eastern overworld. Yep. Uh, I blame Challenge for that too, Niram, but really there's only so much that could be done. There were nine people at 2-0, and o, um, so not enough for all of them to face each other. So uh, just based on the number of players we had in the tournament, this was bound to happen. Red's finding the, the uh, raft there in the pea bag cave. So uh, I've seen a lot of... A lot of seeds recently where people have had to go into Death Mountain to dig out that raft, and that's not going to be the case this time. Mm -hmm. 
And... Trophy Cave is gonna yield a, uh... Tootie Flute. No, a plunger. Lots of names for that item, some of which we probably shouldn't say right now. Well, yeah, we'll skip those for now. Um, they're, you know, they're they're set, short of a... Actually being there, I mean, they can cross any encounter in the uh, Eastern Overworld now. Yep. And that looks like Palace 3 that Rez just found. There's another palace right nearby in the same uh, swamp. Good time to bust out your swamp emotes. That looks like Palace 5, so not not great choices. Might be a good thing that they got that raft. Look at that swamp. That's beautiful. Good work. I'm getting paid. <laughs> Almost fills the whole screen. Oh. A gigantic Dixia swamp block for that one. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> you look like v -Red's trying to help you out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, showing it off. I haven't seen any towns yet, which is kind of curious. Not much in that swamp besides those two palaces, it looks like. Right. I think... Well, I mean, would you spend 20 minutes stuck in the swamp and then quit, Larry? Or how would that go? <laughs> is, this, is this area below the swamp uh, and closed off? Oh, man. Yeah. That's Parappa Cave, it's... though. Yeah, that's that's about the best case scenario right there. Get your Get yourself out of here. Of course, if it's the only way north, fingers crossed. Oh. Looking pretty good. That's Fairy Cave. <laughs> Saria. Yeah, Saria in another town coming up. So, only two caves left to find. Um, Heart Container Cave and... Um, what's the one I'm missing? Oh, Magic Container Cave. Both now with the raft. I haven't seen any Death Mountain yet either, although I don't think these runners are going to be terribly anxious to get into Death Mountain. No, I don't see them going there at all for quite a long time. They're, they're in pretty good shape for getting off this continent, at the very least. Brad's practicing his, um, his double hits. Getting all warmed up. Well, last palace is palace one, so that's a good one to find early on. And a nice deep red, too. It looks like... Nope. King Don wants to head south, or north. He's just gonna walk to the north. Forget everything. So, probably hoping for the fairy spell here, if they want to have any shot at uh, going in that palace, getting downstabbed. It'll probably be something bad though like spell we had a couple seeds in the last you know day of extremely well buried fairy spells and in one of those cases the magic key was also it was blocked logically by the fairy spell hmm. of course in practice it wasn't but maybe maybe we just won't see that fairy spell for a bit we've got the thunder spell in there which is a good one to find um and the other towns are nearby as well, so all four towns very close together. There's a boulder. These guys are, at least Rez and soon to be King Doll are half Dig Shake already. Yeah. Wouldn't mind looking around for that other cave, uh, see if it might have the magic key or the glove or the hammer or something. Yeah, those are important. Two, two different towns, also in the same pattern. All five of them are just right there, very close to each other. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those scary scenarios where you you see something that looks just like something else that you already saw. Was I here? Yeah, 
Well, it freaked me out on King Dolls. I was like, how did he get over to that area so fast? But it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it looked like there was a cave in a little, uh, little cranny between the mountains there that Rez skipped. Was there a cave down there? In yeah. that little tiny slot? Okay. Yeah, there was. Wow. So. I mean, I would have expected there to be one in, in a layout like that, but they ignored it. Uh, he barely scrolled it on screen. You you don't yeah. be blamed for thinking that that was just a dead end down there. Oh, look. The other exit to Death Mountain goes into a little camp spot. Well, that's the last cave then, so that cave that he skipped in that little nook is going to be... Uh, Magic. It, Either Heart Container Cave or Magic Cave, yeah. Well, oh, oh god, that rock. I really hope something important's in there. There is one cave that goes to that section with the rock in it. Hoping for the troll already. I guess oh, it's yeah. been pretty quick so far, though. Yeah, I've just, you know, we've just had a lot of, uh, I played a lot of painful seeds lately, and I want to I want to share that joy with everybody. I, I'm curious. I mean, I know some people's opinion on this question, but it seems to me um, that the seeds in this tournament have been a bit trollier than usual. I don't know if that's me being optimistic or if that's an actual fact. <laughs> Three, five, six in the west? No, I don't, this is a uh, palace one that King Doll's going into now. Yep. And this isn't a bad play with the extra keys. No, this is perfectly fine. Um, he shouldn't expect to find anything too terribly important in here. I'd say the best case scenario is is either you know obviously finding a, a critical spell item, but uh, finding a magic container is probably the best thing you can really think to find at this point. Yeah. In, in a probability standpoint, uh, the glove would be the best. And there goes Rez past that uh, final cave. You can tell he's looking for it. He's definitely looking around for it. That's that's a smart move. I mean, just you want to find all the caves. Now he's going to dive into one as well. Yeah, and they're. They're pretty much even right now, as far as items and spells go, so um, basically whoever gets out of this palace first is the, the person who's leading, Yep. Uh, and that could vary depending on what kind of levels each one leaves with, but the, I guess the big difference was, you know, Rez was a little bit ahead getting to the north, but he got there uh, through that long swamp, and King Doll just cut straight up. He also spent a bit more time looking around, and King Doll has not found uh, Death Mountain yet. Or any okay. of those other caves. And a lot of key blocks so far. So there's four keys uh, in Palace One. I guess five if you count uh, Horsehead's key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Rez should be. Oh no, yeah. Oh, Horsehead's right there. I wonder if I'll see anybody take that key and use it for something else. It used so, to be a popular strategy in the early days of the rando, but you don't see pe people doing that so much anymore. Yeah, it's. It's a bit time-consuming. There, there are definitely other options, like coming back later and not going to all those key rooms. Every key room that you enter and exit is going to eat 25 seconds. So you end up, you know, going for all the keys in this place. Let's so spend a few extra minutes in here. And Rez's uh, Zelda 2 experience really showing there as he just demolishes Horsehead. Yeah. Jumps over the gem. 
I guess if he's gonna hunt for the item, he might be able to get another level two before placing that gem. Yeah, I'll be curious to see what happens here. Uh, so right there, because they, nobody had gone right to this key room, but he's greeted by an iron knuckle. Yeah. He doesn't want any part of that, apparently. I, I don't know. I think that key is going to be uh, important to cracking in any more doors in this place. Well, it is kind of a gamble, but you do have a chance if you uh, spend Horsehead's key. You know there's got to be more keys behind one of those doors. Two, right. There are two uh, key-blocked leftward branches. Is that what yep. happens? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you, you use one of them, and you know you're going to either get the, the key or the other item, but unless you pass through a certain room with a key in it, you'll get to the item without one. Right, yeah. And this is... Right. So that's the, that's the gamble. Doesn't look like he's going to take it. He's just going to get out of here. Hmm. I guess his main priority was just getting the attack level out of here. Maybe he thought to... Maybe he thought to get a, a key and then thought better of it. King Doll's 412, though. So he's in great shape. Now that cave that I'm like 99% certain is Heart Cave is... Or Magic Cave is just directly to the uh, east of Palace 1 there. So I cave... think... Oh wait, there's another boulder cave right there though. So there's two boulder block caves. I missed that first one. So that's not Heart Cave. I don't know what cave that is. Jump Cave? Uh, perhaps... So yeah, there's nothing then. Just hop on the raft and go, like King Doll's doing right now. Yep, desert towel right off the coast there. Trying to bait that large encounter and gets clipped. Now Rez is... is he? He was looking around a bit and then decides, I think, to go hop on the raft himself. Okay. This is where, I, you know, what, what I was talking about earlier maybe already coming into play. Rez is not quite as experienced with the randomizer, so I don't know how familiar he is with the, the rules about blocked caves. Yeah, um, it definitely, being decisive is worth a certain amount of time and not, uh, not circling around on the map, but kind of aimlessly. If you see those so. two blocked caves, then you know there's really nothing you can do right now, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's important... Uh, it's important to remember where those caves are, but it's it's even more uh, simple and important to, to note how many caves are left. And if you can get them. Well, the longer he stays over here and tries to figure it out, the bigger of a lead he's spotting uh, King Doll at the moment. Definitely, and King Doll has located some stone-skinned Aikmans and a and a graveyard campsite. I don't think he's going to spend the night here. Well, he might uh, join the graves here in a moment. Uh, yeah. Now he could. I don't know how deep he actually had to go to get here, but he could certainly up an A. Yeah, the reptile's not too far from start. Yeah, I think they just need to to jump over some water tiles and, and skip some encounters and, and then get to the back to the dock pretty easily. It does look like a pretty blocked off uh, eastern continent though, almost oh, even, required yeah, to gonna, use those boots. It's going to walk right back by the dock even. And he can't get around that little bit of mountain. Oh, but he's got the VOD 2 cave. Nice clean fight against the Red Liz Alphos. And Rez has finally given up and sailed on over himself. Yeah. So that's gotta be Palace 2 right there, King Doll's side. What's he want to do with that? He doesn't have a ton of experience. Probably same no. up A. Yeah, he could up A and and easily triple that amount of experience in one uh, spike tile. 
It is pretty close, AA. Um, King Dahl has been on the Eastern Continent a couple minutes longer. He knows about some bad locations. Did just King find Dahl Maze Island. Behind. Yeah, he did. That's good. Um, King Dahl was behind before, and uh, Rez found some useless locations in the Eastern Continent, which put King Dahl ahead. So the same thing could happen here, where uh, Rez catches up by not taking any of those paths that King Dahl took that went nowhere. Already finding an item? Oh. Not a bad one. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Nice to find those before you're really invested. It just, uh, for me, finding spell items like that just, you know, decreases the chances I'm gonna dig an item out of a palace. Especially a yeah. big palace. Yeah, that's usually the last thing that keeps you digging in palaces. He's gonna turn around, he's gonna use the boost to his, his advantage here and explore the rest of this maze island. Uh, yeah, but finding a, like the medicine in this particular spot isn't bad. Like they don't have, they don't even have downstab yet, so you know they're going back. So it's nice. And he says, "Well, there's no loss there. Whatever I get, as soon as I can go back uh, and get fairy, I'm also gonna pick up a spell. And if he doesn't find fairy, then he might guess that maybe the item leads to fairy." Yeah. I haven't seen any towns on the uh, eastern continent yet either, though, so towns are kind of elusive. Mm-hmm. No, they're probably all clumped up again. All right, King Dahl finds the kid cave. Magic container is not a bad find. Definitely not. Wanna First magic container is so valuable. Yeah. Definitely want to find at least one or two of those. Um, okay. mostly for reflect and thunder casting purposes. Yeah, you can usually get through the game with five jar and be able to, you know, cast reflect and thunder without massively leveling up magic, but uh, what the second jar will often do for you is actually let you cast shield in conjunction with thunder. And or any yeah, small spell. We got GP on Maze Island, actually probably my least favorite GP location. Yeah, I think he's going to take this opportunity to turn into his uh, medicine, I think. Oh, Rez has found Thundertown. So this little split here could prove to be uh, decisive. Only walking out with spell for Rez. Could be useful, but not... not something that most players are going to get too excited about. What is the magic word? Um, swamp. <laughs> <laughs> he said the secret word! <laughs> no, can you go in five? We got P4 right there, so we know that Palace 3 is the one that's sitting in Valley of Death. River Devil sitting there. Looks like it might actually be guarding something this time around, and we have the flute, so. Lots of little dead ends uh, on this eastern continent. It does not look like it's very fun to navigate around. And now King Doll is, is wasting the time that Rez wasted earlier by crossing through that swamp to find the place that he's already been to. As he uh, gets to this cave. However, it is going to take him somewhere he wanted to go anyway. If he takes it... Okay, peek left. Right. Oh. Oh, he's going to walk back through the swamp? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. And uh, we got another town on Rez's screen, so... another free spell. Yeah, this is this is looking good for Rez. The more spells he gets, at least the more information mm -hmm. about what he needs to be doing. 
Yeah, I don't- did Rez see Maze Island and just decide not to do it, or... Did he not scroll uh, the screen don't, far enough? I don't think he went all the way that, to that direction. But I'm not 100% of that. Ah, there it is. Well, that's game changer right there. Yeah, he can do a bit more now. He's still short of glove, so he does have the choice ahead of him. Does he want to go to Spell Town to. Which I doubt he can cast spell right now, but uh, other. Other overworld locations to look for the glove before digging the palaces. Haven't found any of the overworld locations either. Desert tile, water tile. Right. Or uh, the two pee bag caves. Right, they have boots. So everything's available, it's just waiting to be found. Here, King Doll's having to turn in his medicine. And here's one of those two pee bag caves. Uh, interesting discussion with, you know, hand-drawn graphics by the one and only Yunos on the Discord today about how to recognize these caves in the eastern continent. Yeah. This yeah, under the... This one's pretty unique. There aren't any other caves that look like it, but the other Peabag Cave is similar. Yeah, I think that's one that really gets people because it looks like two other sections of cave. So... Yeah, you just uh, you go, oh, that that's that one cave. Well, no, it's the only time you enter that from the left, coming from outside. Uh, King, King Doll did find a good spell. He got Reflect, but it uh, doesn't really immediately help him. It'll come in handy no. later. He'll probably want to head back east now and, and go a different direction. So uh, we know where everything is uh, to beat the game, except for the glove at this point. That's the only thing that we're really missing. Yeah, and there are a lot of choices left. It could be in any palace. And in several unchecked level locations. That desert tile up there above this cave that King Doll just entered, we haven't seen uh, what's what that is yet, but we've seen uh, Rez enter a couple different desert tiles. And there we have the other one, the other uh, Peabag Cave. Rez just left. I don't, yeah, I don't think he recognized it as being the Peabag Cave. Uh, easy to get that one confused for the Bonner Pass. And now he's going back. Okay. Yeah. He's just kidding. Had a Maybe had a thought there. King Doll's gonna go through the Valley of Death uh, without Fairy, which is pretty darn tough. Yeah, I, I wonder what's uh, pushing that decision. He might think that he's blocked. I don't know. It is Bonner Pass for reasons that we won't discuss at the current moment. Somebody in chat will tell you. So, uh, Rez just picked up a hard container from the second feedback cave. And King Doll's gonna try and do some work in three, but without Fairy, without the glove, that's gonna be pretty tough. Yeah, it's. That's a uh, pretty tight line there. Well, he's not gonna Are any have keys... much of a chance. There's, no. There's one key accessible in three without the glove, I think. The one outside. Right. Yes. Oh, there'll be the one that's sitting on top of uh, the blocks in the, in the room. Oh, yeah. Rebo, but he's also without jump. So he do some uh, pretty crazy stuff to get up there. Possibly not even anything he could do to do it. So he's gonna head back to the beginning. Ah, uh, what? What was that? That was a little digger. Ah, uh, ah, <laughs> yes. Another case though of Rez not quite scrolling the screen far enough. There was another town nearby that he uh, just didn't see. Um, we know that the only thing in that town is. Not particularly useful, but he doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't have reflect yet, so 
definitely would have yeah, checked yeah, it if he saw it. It's a mistake that may not haunt him in the least. Looks like he's gonna go pick up downstab here real quick. Which, even though he doesn't have the medicine, and he will be back here later getting the downstab, still gonna be a time saver. Uh, just the way it lets you navigate through every single room with the possibility of saving a lot of time is makes it worth doing. So the only part of the east that I haven't seen people explore yet is the upper uh, east corner, I suppose. It looked like Rez was kind of up there and decided to up A instead. I wonder if that's where the water tile's hanging out. Could have been New Casudo that he passed up as well and... Right. Possibly had a chance at an item. I don't know if he can cast spell yet on Magic 3. I haven't seen that. <laughs> we have King Hulk with with reflect and not downstab. Rez with downstab and not reflect. Dropping a, a thunder bomb right there on the bear. Oh, we doing a little grinding here. Uh huh. It's that magical level. So it look like, looks like King Doll is definitely in the camp that says just give me every single level when I get it. I think he, he looked at the spell costs, and I don't know if he was just looking at Reflect being castable. I didn't see what the level before it cost, and obviously he cast Thunder before getting that level, so... Oh yeah, dropping Thunder on all the uh, rock throwers. Well, he is going to come across Palace 4 here in just a moment, so... Uh, still no fairy spell, though. But he's getting close. Rez thinks about two. Gonna go do Maze Island instead. Instantly running to that medicine. We'll see. He got that medicine about 30 minutes and 20 seconds. Let's see how long it takes him to turn it in. Probably a little salty because he was just in Mido. But. Yeah, and that's. That really is what I'm. You kind of like gauge the salt level about getting an item for a town you were just in by how long it takes you to go back. So, King Doll's in four, but looks again, like, without Fairy. Yeah, it looks like he's diving in, and Fairy is just north. He's it, just got to go it, past the River Devil to get it. It's possible to amass some keys here by finding the lava jump rooms. Also but possible boy, to it... just walk right in and find Karox sitting right there. Right, but it is so much faster most of the time to be doing this with key or fairy. That room oh. is also nice to have fairy. <laughs> or downstab. Yeah. Yeah, you... Uh, in this flag set, this room isn't quite as scary, but if I'm... We're playing mixed, large, and small. That's a room that I'm really thinking about uh, having to cross without the downstab. Yeah. So, another up A for Rez. Probably going to go grab the Reflect spell, I would imagine. And he could think about doing 2 and 4 once he, once he gets that. Uh, depending on fairy costs, you could even think about Palace 5, potentially. Oh. King Doll. Oh, and the game over. So does that mean he's gonna get out of here? Nope. Nope, he was real close to that key. He was just like, alright, I'll just get a key before I die. Nope, no key. He's not gonna be able to go left here. 
Yeah, and he's not gonna walk all the way back just to get that one key. Nope. He's out of here. Yep. Yeah. Red's going to get the reflect spell. And that will put him one glove short of a full dig shake. Yep. Although King Doll's not far behind him. He's about to come across the stuff up in the north. Yep. I hate these desert encounters that King Doll's in right now. Go on. <laughs> we have 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> uh, looks like actually the very north uh, eastern part of the map is not directly reachable without going through a cave, so the water tile is up there. Uh, pretty hard to get to. That spot over there is the campsite that King Doll found. Oh, that's right. Um, that's right. Well, where where the heck great. is the water tile then? You still well, got to go through a cave, it seems like. How far south have, have they been? Did they start in the southernmost uh, section when they. Oh, they did. Well, have they been around? So, because King Doll, he went left from the dock and down. Maybe and south. Then right. Maybe southwest? I don't know. Southeast? Well, I think the southwest southeast. might just be mountain. Yeah. But I, I don't know how to get to the southeast unless it's uh, down from the dock or the Maze Island Bridge. Old lady only wanted five match containers, but just guarding a heart container. Um, I think he'll probably be able to cast spell here as well, so that'll be interesting to see. And if that isn't if that isn't uh, the glove, then you gotta definitely start thinking about doing some palaces. Well, although King Doll still has not found um, Naburu with the fairy spell yet. So we're gonna find out what this spell in uh, New Kasudo is. Is Rez head to four? He's ready for it. There's fire. Nuka Sudo. Have we seen anybody test fire? No. Although, kind of based on process of, elim of elimination, you gotta figure it's jumper life, maybe? I don't know. Oh. Oh. There we go. The well, there, yeah. King Doll, full dig shake at 36 minutes. Well, he doesn't have fairy yet, but... Uh, oh, he doesn't have fairy. Okay. Take I'm, that back. Fairy not guaranteed to be required. Certainly doable without, but... Uh, I mean, it's, he has, it's starting to run out of ways that it can be fairy isn't required. He doesn't already. even have downstab yet, so... Oh, yeah. He's going to want that. So not finding Spelltown, actually, when Rez was right there, could prove to be a little costly. And this will be, uh, Naburu coming up for Kingdoll? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, he wants to check the desert tile first. Experience. He's gonna be set up. He's actually not far from attack five. Wow. So he... Just watching Rez take down that blue iron knuckle, that was beautiful. Oh yeah. Same room. Turn it around. Yeah, kind of a troll. Looks like you gotta go to the left. Once you come down that first elevator. Yep, and instantly spend a key or a fairy spell. So he's going to dump more than half his magic. Uh, it looks like fairy's 50 and he has 96 magic points. Okay. 
and fairies 50 for King Doll as well. Oh, even a magic four, wow. It's kinda high. Yeah, so they're they're in the same boat. Has Both to, gonna get one cast. Has to take a death now to be able to get back through. Two key doors mm -hmm. in a row. Yep. And this is the thing the Palace Four will often do, and it's the one thing that really uh, will, will push you away from wanting to do Palace Four is, is these situations, and we've seen them a lot, where it's been so bad that you actually had to... because you were stuck between these doors after this door and the door in the next room after bearing, and you'd already killed the monster. There he goes. He's through. And just a hail oh. of swords and gets hit by the last one. That's wow. bad news. I mean, he can try to go through now, but unless he gets a jar drop, he's not going to be able to cast Reflect when he gets to Karak. Yeah, he, he'd be just, you know, floating. But he's going for it. There aren't so many keys that are just sitting around these you get in this palace. You gotta... Every key in here you need to invest a decent amount of time in. And, and that room right there, I, in his situation, I would have probably gone and picked up that key. And he might end up doing it anyway. Oh, I, nope. No, he's just gonna bail. Can't say Strict I blame keys. him. Wow. At, at that point, you know, I, if, if I'm running into that situation, where I'm key blocked like that in four, that's where I really start to think about um, abandoning my traditional leveling strat and just taking a few extra levels or just taking oh, yeah. whatever I can get. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll drop uh, whatever plan I had in the heartbeat, I think, to get through a level like that because the other choices are, um, you know, you got to go back in and do it right the next time and get that key because, you, you know, you can't ferry if you have to die every time you ferry and you ferry three times and you got nothing left. So you gotta go back in, go through the two doors and then get a key. He's actually, King Doll's gonna go back the way he was the first time. Well, this is an elevator room here. Uh, doesn't it take you up to the Crumble Bridge? Right, it takes you up to the Crumble Bridge and, um... That dead ended at a key, I thought. Maybe he's going back to right. the key? I guess, um, but he just spent his thunder magic, so he can't, he couldn't ferry through that door, so he's gonna take a dip, I think, and turn around. He remembered where he's been, so there he goes. Meanwhile, we've got, uh, Resin Spelltown, he's... And he will be full dig shake as soon as he picks up this glove, so... Yeah. Yeah, King Doll's gonna grab this key, which is much easier now that you got the glove and can get rid of those. Well, oh, so he's in a different key room. So we've already seen all three of these rooms. Both, of, two of them are to the right. One of the Crumble Bridge run to the right through that other door he buried through, and the other one is the one that Rez uh, got of. So, I mean, what have we seen? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seemed like a third of Palace 4, and all three of the right were dead ends already. Yeah, unfortunately for uh, King Doll, not having downstab is making that room a lot harder than it needs to be with those uh, floating dragon heads. King Doll it appears to be contemplating briefly. All right, he knows what he needs to do now. So I wonder if you're Rez, if you don't just start clearing out uh, palaces on this continent, you got, you might, well, you don't know if it's three or six yet. We know that it's, uh, do we even know if it's three or six? I think either one's a good choice. Yeah. They both have a lot of keys in them. Might be heading to two.
Yeah, King Doll is found the room rested. And great. Now this. So will he go into this room and, and get the key and then and then also just don't jump in the lava? Oh wow. Oh! Air jump! Yeah, that Doom Knocker did not want to go down. Wow, that guy had the wing boots. Never mind. So he's gonna go down in fairy, but he will have to find a magic refill between here and Karok, and he also has the item room to check. So, and without, uh, without jump, or down stab, he's, he has pretty much no hope of getting up there. I've seen somebody get up on that ledge. That four tile high ledge with uh, by riding up a a blue armored knight, armored skeleton, whatever. And there's a story of Palace Four right there, running into another key door. <laughs> That's part of the reason I hate Palace Four so darn much. Yeah, there that are... is the worst palace. For... There's a lot of keys in there. I mean, Palace Five is kind of scary with its key situation, but at least there are a lot of keys that aren't too bad to pick up yeah there are a bunch in on in that palace that are in the middle of a room if you have the jump spell or glove either one you'll be able to pick up um, many more keys and there are only four doors or so i think d5 maybe six or five or six but um they're not quite prevalent Yeah, so no surprise we're going to see King Doll pick up the downstab here. Looks like we had Stalpo strippers this round. Yeah, 70 XP. Pretty good. Uh, Rez finding the fake cat room. so nice to be able to go in here and just not even worry about looking for items. Um, palace 2 is kind of a big palace, and digging that item out can be a real pain in the butt. Yeah, there are, what, 20 rooms or so in here, same as P4? Or 24 rooms, maybe? And uh, But there aren't that many intersections, so you get long branches. End up turning around a bit. So here, if... Um, if Rez doesn't end up finding Helmet Head going this way, he's actually have to find a left to take him right. Yeah, there'll always be one left path that's going to take you right, because there's basically a U-turn set of rooms. Uh, King Doll gonna go grab the item out of one, I assume. Um. Gonna grab key for starters. Oh uh, well, that could be an idea too, I suppose. Kind of grab the key. Maybe he thinks. I mean, maybe he's hunting for the magic key or something, since he knows how bad the key blocks are. It's an interesting decision because. Uh, Again, we see, you know, our two runners trying different strats here. Rez is just going to start knocking out palaces as fast as he can. If this is three like we think it is, there's a lot of easy keys to get in this palace. Right. Yeah. You'll probably end up spending them quickly. You, you come in here and, and you get those two keys out of the one room where you just have to dig a couple of blocks down. And yet, I find most of the time that I, I don't net that many keys. Unless I actually go out of my way to get some of the other keys. Nevertheless, uh, should have an easy time getting through. King Doll, I, I, not 100% clear on his motivation here. Because anything else he does in here is going to require spending that key that he's got. Yeah, only thing I can think is that he's just looking for the magic key. Yep. Even if he finds a magic container, 
Even though it'll be closer to uh, repeat fairy cast, he won't be there. Just yeah. Few, just a little way. Yeah, four MP short. Man, the combat skills on display by Rez are just phenomenal. Oh, yeah. It's really fun to watch. Doll just netted the key across that crumble bridge and locates the item room. Oh, he's gonna spend that key then. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't I imagine know. him being happy if this is anything besides the magic key. No, I don't think so either. Uh, and even if he does get the magic key, I don't, I don't oh. know how much it's gonna help. He doesn't want it. The hammer. So that could lead to the magic key, potentially. Yeah, he'll have to spend another, you know, minute or two just to dig out the two caves in Overworld and Western, you know, that are hammer blocked. He wants to make some of that. Yeah, at the rate that Rez is clearing these palaces, he doesn't really have that time to use. No, he doesn't. Uh, Rez will. He's gonna take this level up. He can go to any other palace besides four and uh, and take magic levels from that to try to solve this problem. All he needs to get is ferry down to forty-eight, and he'll have no problem. In palace four. Yeah, so probably five and six next. Yeah, I wonder, was King Doll just grinding there then, or... I don't know. Have to ask him. Reset P6. Just to look at a key, but doesn't have the tools to dig it out, does he? Does he have jump? Uh, no, we have not found jump yet. And we still haven't seen somebody test fire, right? Um, I've seen people cast it, but I wasn't able to figure out what it was. Alrighty. Looks like we're gonna do five before six. Yeah, he should have no problem with five either. Five will, five will present fewer problems in the current situation. Um, plenty, they're, the more, uh, there's less of a magic blockage here. When you're doing six, yeah, sure, you can ferry through a door, but then what happens when the next room is the drop shoot and it takes you to that little fairy shoot and you don't have the magic cast fairy to get into it? That's kind of plays, plays you that way. It's, you gotta hold on to your magic or, or run into that room. Uh, so we are going to check these uh, hammer block caves. The first one has the cross. The other one is right next to start, I believe. But if he's grinding, he's probably not anxious to obey and go back. He's just going to no. take the long route, walk back. No. no, with the hammer he can jump right down. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Rez is uh, waffling a bit here. He popped down an elevator right and then looked up and found the false wall and turned around. And this is the only elevator in the Grand Urn Palace 5 where you go down and there's only the choice to go right. 
There's two rooms like this, though, in five. That room? Yeah. There's one with the five small enemies, and then there's, um... Isn't there a second one, or am I making that up? You're thinking of two. I'm thinking of two. Yeah, Palace 5 has, when you go down an elevator, there are four times you can go left only, once right only, and, I don't know, three that you can go left or right? Yeah, I guess that is correct. Um, I, it definitely is worth your while, I think, to go up on elevators instead of down, if you have the option. Yeah. In 5. Fairy is still 50 at Magic 5. Well... Not much you can do about that. No, I, that's pretty much where you... I would just kind of give up on getting Fairy double castable and... Start to order my palaces differently. Yeah, Palace 4 though is going to be really tough though. Uh, I mean, unless, yeah. unless you start digging up those keys. Right, which I think, you know, you, you have to pick up the keys and it's going to take, you know, 12 seconds each direction in the room, but even if you just do one, you get to the end, you get a key, you get a, possibly a magic jar out of the statue, you might be set for the rest of the palace. In fact, I'm certain that you have a really good chance to be. So there's definitely routing available. You just have to... You have to not make any mistakes when you do it, though. You can't die with a full magic bar. Yeah, I mean, even if you have one or definitely two keys coming out of other palaces, it makes that first section a lot more manageable. Yep. That way, even if you uh, even if you game over, you're you've already chipped away at the palace's defenses. Rez went to dig up a magic jar just so he wouldn't have to die to get through this fairy room. You'd probably see him go back and pick up that key, I would imagine. Despite, Depending on what he sees here. Despite even the, if he... Go yeah. ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna do it. I mean, despite the flag being on, keys have been kind of in short, short supply this seed. Well, he's gonna send that two keys from this combination of rooms. There's Guma. Yeah, just right of the eco key. Seems familiar. <laughs> Unfortunately, no jump spell for Rez to attempt that. This time he'll be going at it. He's life three. He needs to take the boatload of damage, but he has a shield spell. And attack and seven. attack seven, yeah. It's going to go down pretty quick. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't exactly surgical, but uh, he, he had a lot of leeway on that one. You can see King Dolls in P6. Yep. Took one of the drops already, and now he's in the Canadian hole room. I think... Rez went to P5. King Doll went to P6. They're more or less in the same situation, where they, they've been in the Palace 4 and they got kicked out. And I think right. each one made the right choice for <laughs> their own skill sets. Look at this, Rez just not even messing oh, around. Yeah. Up to magic seven, just like that. I'm sure Fairy will be uh, double, <laughs> if not triple castable now. 28. 28. Yeah. Three times. So his problem is solved. Yeah. And he's not gonna have any trouble with life five either. By no. By the time he clears his palace, he'll be up to seven. Uh, 777 heading into GP, so he'll be fine.
Whoops. Fairy and the key. Yeah, I probably do that at least once a race. Yep. King Dollars did the same thing. Which is much worse for him because he doesn't have the amount of fairy cast that Rez does. Right. Uh, I've heard this called the, the Bent Glass Tube Room. Is that name sticking? Sure. <laughs> I got no problem with that. He's not even here, but we can still make fun of him. Okay. Bot's in the channel, though. Anybody who wants to get good luck, just hop in here. No, don't do that. I'd be disruptive. Well, that iron, or the Rebinac, could not have had much experience. No, it didn't look like it. I think the minimum they can be is 150. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is just a really tough run for King Doll here. With yeah, the... I had to take another one. Oh, he makes it though. He's found Barba. Woohoo! Stay alive, man. Don't fall in. No jump spell, so you ought to be playing it safe. I'm not worried about King Doll with this boss fight. He's practiced these bosses and is uh, definitely competent. I just don't remember the path that he took to get there. No, oh, I don't either. Well, Rez is in the BGT room though, so that's gotta be... Yeah, he's on the track. Yeah, actually, I think Barba's just right here in the next room, so Rez flew through this palace. But that's what casting fairy three times will get you. And he has an excess of keys still. He didn't even fairy to get into this room. Oh, but he uh, kind of bangs his shin on that jump and turns around so he can reset the RNG for this fight. Yep. few hits just on the way up with a little bit of a, a mini jackhammer. Seven attack deals twice as much damage as five attack, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it sounds about right. The growth rate for attack is pretty large at the end there. Yeah. So one more palace for Rez, palace four. King Doll's gonna hop into five. Now we're looking for that fairy room in five because Guma's right on the other side of that guy. Hopefully you can manage it with his uh, magic situation. Rez is jumping in this cave. That's the way you have to go to get to the rest of the continent. Oh, okay. It was a different cave than it was the bad cave. Got it. A little more grinding from King Doll. I wonder if we're trying to get up to Magic 6. <laughs> what a game. Well, because the way the experience doesn't work, you don't actually get a chance to look at your spell book between taking mass level ups from a gem, so maybe he gets a good cast at Magic 6. Well, and that's, that was just a bad roll, too, for Fairy to be that expensive uh, for all those levels. 
not just one bad roll, but at every single level it would have had to roll 50 or higher for that to happen, so. Right. Yeah, it, uh, at Magic 4, the base cost is 60. So having 50 is below average, but not necessarily below average for the randomizer based on the way, uh, it dumps any value that's that's higher or keeps it even. Um, but at Magic 5, the base cost is 50 or 40, so 50 is definitely higher. You rarely expect to see a spell cost more than at any level that it did in the original game. Uh, kind of almost a fluke how well that worked out though the the magic leveling because with I think that's probably one of the most important balance issues in the game is getting those spell costs right oh yeah and yeah when when spell costs are normal uh, like that one we played the other day where uh, Sarnax made uh, flags with normal spell costs Whoa. yeah yeah I don't think people realize uh, sometimes how generous the rando is, but in order for it to work, it, it kind of has to be that way, in terms of magic. Yeah, it gets much tougher. Every every single seed feels like, most of the way through, like these guys had a palace for on this particular seed, which was way out of the norm. It's not something you get on a regular basis. And I wish I could take credit for that and say that I tested a whole bunch of stuff and found what worked, but that's not true. I just did it that way, and it didn't suck, so... Kept eh. It. Rather be lucky than good, right? Sometimes. Especially when it comes to randomizers. <laughs> King Doll's gonna get a good look at everything. Yeah, it took an unfortunate game over there. He was well on his way to getting that magic six, which hopefully would have leave some of the fairy pressure for him and took a game over at a bad time. Fortunately, uh, looking like it's going to be too little too late for him, because Rez is going to be on his way to Great Palace here in just a moment. Yeah. At, at this point, even, even an upstab block would, uh, Probably not do enough. We haven't found Arunia yet, though. No. Maybe we'll get to see it. Certainly possible, but odds are pretty small. Yeah, you, you probably have gotten Lucky Jam, but in order to be 2-0 in this tournament, there's got to be at least some skill involved, too, you know? Whoops. There's a there's a lesson that every Zelda 2 rando player has to learn at some point, is don't enter those bridge encounters from the wrong direction. I'll put you right there in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people really are going to know how those work until they played Rando or tried to fairy foot it in the vanilla game. That it, uh, It's actually two different encounters and they're connected in the middle like a cave would. Actually interesting that they coded that particular encounter that way and the bridge the two-sided bridge is basically just a cave with a different look to it right yeah but they're able to get away with it because um, unless you fairy feet which is not something that I think the developers were thinking about there's no way to get in the middle of the bridge in the normal game yeah but that is the only only uh, two uh, two room encounter that's that's coded at all that lets you, uh, bury foot. 
Yeah, that's true. King Dolls. He's actually oh. really close. If he goes down the elevator and to the right, he'll find the fairy room, but uh, he's out of magic, so he's gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, he just, uh, he was going for a thunder kill on that Doom Rattler, but ended up just killing all the hammers. He is and, on his uh, last life, so... Yeah, and ironically, he had his life completely refilled by taking the bubble. I don't think that was an underflow glitch. He's going the wrong way now, though. Yep. Gone the wrong way on his last, last life. Thankfully, that jar is there. He decides to turn around. Early Thunderbird. Usually not unhappy to see uh, early Thunderbird. With late Thunderbird, you gotta worry about trying to conserve enough magic. Yep. The same issue as early in P6 before you've seen the fairy shoot or, or when you're heading toward Karak. You can't go too long. Magic. I've seen Rez do some crazy strats against T-Bird, but without the jump spell, he's just gonna play it pretty straight here. Refilling. He's gonna take that key and refill for the final stretch. Yep. Is that something you would do when T-Bird's close like that? In the situation he was in, yeah, where he already burned one life and had no health left on the second, I think that's probably a smart move. If I were full life with one life left, I'd probably go on a short GP. Yeah. Yeah, I guess there's a couple factors. Long GP, absolutely. Oh, um, yeah. But even if you think it's going to be a tight race, I mean, just up Aang, that's what, 20, 30 seconds to get through that waffle room, so. Oh, yeah. King Doll taking that game over there, but actually not a bad thing for him. Maybe it'll help him go the right way. Yeah, one drop out of res, landing in the long haul with two sides. Oh, he managed to survive that body. Not by much. By the red bird. No, he's... He's not going to survive anything at this point. Thinking... So, the only option that he's really got is to go left in that drop room. Thought he might make it through that fun room, but uh, <laughs> deep strats and fun rooms do not mix. No, there's so much stuff in them. Uh, the bigger this one, fireball is coming from the floor and fire spitting. You can't even block those. Chance no, of survival is pretty slim. They do a lot of damage too for what they are. At least half a bar. Mm -hmm. Oh, memeing it up, going left in the fairy room. And using the fairy, not even going to risk anything. It's a drop. Look! It's a back loop! He had the option to go right and decided to go left in the fairy room just for you guys. Oh, that piece of information. Uh is not probably going to help him make any decisions just yet, as there are three drops ahead of him to take. But he knows that at least one of them is going to go backward.
Hmm. Focus little, head up. A little deja vu. Uh, it hasn't been there before. That's the room with the red jar in it, I think. Yes. I think it's the end of that elevator. He goes down, and it's definitely gonna be a right at the bottom of that elevator. There are no elevators that you're likely to find in a shortened GP where you go down and you can't take a right. That one room with the crumble bridge. I haven't mean, seen that one in a short grand palace in quite a while. Finds a drop and looks like he's just gonna take it. Yeah, I, what the heck. I mean, if he does loop back, it won't be that far, so. Not at all. And he hasn't taken that ferry yet from that room, so he'd get a life refill out of it. Dolls at Gooman now. And he has two lives to get this done. Up on the fire spell? No, the shield spell. That's a much better choice. Jackamus room. The bubbles in the GP hit pretty hard. The, the uh, skull. Yeah. Thingies. Yeah. Oof. King Doll. I don't know if he has another hit to take. He should, but. Gonna play a little safer now. Still attack five. He doesn't look like he's any gonna be in any position to get attack six unless he skips something. Sure, he'll get. Oh man! Oh, oh no! What? He has choices. Huh? Well, I don't. Uh -huh. I don't. <laughs> Did he have choices in that particular section? Or was I he don't blocked? know. He fell into the left room, and then I think he was stuck. Like, there was no way he could oh. actually proceed. Oh, he'd go, he'd go through a curtain or a waffle room after that 7L. Yeah, he does have at least two other options I can think of, though. He can go left after the first drop, and there was another right path that he could have taken near the second drop. Um, right. I guess left in the Jackamus room. Did he do, did he try that one? No, he did not do that. Uh, it's not possible without upstab JSR. I think it's upstab required. I don't even think jump. Would jump get you high enough to do it with the fairy spell, maybe? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that if it's possible, it's extremely difficult. Like, you'd have to... Oh, you'd probably have to, like, jump up and, and swing your sword into a into the wall and then turn it around or something really silly. Something tasks level of execution to have any chance of breaking those blocks. Well, there's one option down. He finds the one-up room. Yeah, that... That is something. Yeah, you, you jinxed him, man. Commentator's curse. All right. We have power. <laughs> is it possible that jump is required and the trophy is blocked? Yeah, he did see the trophy in four and didn't grab it. Um, I don't think... Again, I jump don't think... Jump won't be required. Yeah, I don't think jump was going to... Uh, do it there. Jump jump can be required, but I think the only way is through jump cave. I don't think it can be required required in any other form. And even and, then, how often does that happen? Yeah, so let's say, like, uh, in the logic now, fairy can replace jump for, like, getting up stab, right? And down stab. And jump cave and bagu. Yeah. Um, but in this case, you can't replace jump with fairy because you have to be able to break the blocks. But you don't need jump in that room anyway. Yeah, jump doesn't... Because if you... Right, if you have upstab... It makes that room easier, but it doesn't, uh... Well, do you... Do you require jump to be able to go up through that room? No. In addition to upstab? No, no just upstab will do it. Okay. I you don't do... know if you put it in the logic... I mean, yeah, you all you have to do is without jump and you do have upstab, you just do rocking back and forth jump and you can wedge yourself up even if you didn't have fairy. Right. 
it's always a question of like how what techniques like what actual techniques are required to uh potentially required to beat a seed you know yeah i guess i hadn't thought about that particular case uh oh wow oh, there it is well whole point Ooh. is whole point is moot <laughs> yep no upstab I, required i'm sure he's breathing a huge sigh of relief about that one. Oh yeah for sure uh I, you don't want to leave this place and go find darunia to be clear, I was booing that upstab wasn't required. <laughs> <laughs> Res is gonna take out Darkwing pretty quickly here. For that room to even be in there, though, within that direction, is uh, there's a very small chance of that happening in the first place. One eighteen fifty, a uh, great time. If he had gone the other path the first time, what that would have been like maybe a one fifteen. So. Yep. And and that's pretty consistent. Rez has been putting up good times uh, in this tournament so far. Um, our first three and our first guaranteed slot in the bracket goes to V Resner here. Oh man, such hype. Hmm. And knowing King Doll, he's gonna finish this one out. I mean, he doesn't really forfeit races as far as I know. Plus, he's actually been moving along pretty well now. He did take Magic 6. Uh, he's going to clear Palace 3 here, and so really nothing standing in his way um, for the rest of this seed. Should be finishing up momentarily himself. I forgot to mark uh, 5 for him. Uh, looks like he's just got 2 and 4 left to go, so... Yeah, I shouldn't take much effort, even though he's still... Uh... Did we see... Oh, 28. Yep, the 28 was at Magic 6, so he's in fine shape. Yeah. He's not going to get blocked up by Palace 4 this time. That was kind of the story of the seed, wasn't it? The Palace 4 being, what, 1, 2, 3, 3 or 4 layers key blocked? Yeah. And, again, there were... All three of the uh, lava rooms were were there with the keys in him, but um, nobody actually, I think, ever successfully recovered a key from any of those? I, didn't, I don't think so, no. <laughs> it's not a popular strat to begin with. Hello. Hey, what's up, Rez? Hold on, sorry. Josh, just 80 thanks for the cheers uh, with King Doll. Alright, I can hear you guys now. Hey, what's up, Rhett? Congrats on the win. Thank you, my man. So, uh, how how big of a heart attack did you have when you thought you might need to go back and grab a stab <laughs> there? Oh, man, I was I was ready to die. <laughs> I, was, I was kind of annoyed with the seed. I mean, as fast of a clear as it was, the no magic key really annoyed me. Like, P4 was just every single consecutive key block possible. <laughs> and, and and then in the beginning, I forgot I had the boots, if you guys didn't notice that. I made that walk all the way to the raft spot. That was a fail. Uh, I actually didn't notice that. Um, but we yeah. did We did notice Palace 4. That was about as bad as it gets for key blocks in uh, Palace 4. Yeah, and then, and then I didn't have the jump spell. I would have even went into the key lava rooms, but I didn't have the jump spell or the glove to get past the block, so... <laughs> and then I didn't have jump to get, like, any of the keys that were available in, like, four, or three, six, and yeah, four. It was just... And five. The ones on top. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was just, it was rough for keys, the key blocks. I did enjoy just seeing you just dump everything into magic at the end of uh, oh. P6 <laughs> yeah. there. So, oh, yeah, I was like, I'm not even messing with this crap. No, not Don't need attack aid. Just dump everything into magic. Um, yeah, that paid off pretty nicely. You know, so I can, like, barely hear you. I'm going to try and turn you up, though. All right, sorry about that, Mike. Mike can be quite difficult sometimes. Um, I did have one other question for you, actually, Rez. Um, What's up? On the eastern continent, you made it all the way up north there and then decided to up A. And I actually saw a new Casuto on your on your screen and was a little curious why you didn't pop in there. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. I just, I guess that was just another mess up mistake because, yeah, I went to that town, whatever town was right south of it. And then I went right up. I was like, is that new Casuto? I don't think I've been there. And sure enough. I wasn't sure if it was like you just didn't see it, or I know some some players have it where the you know their uh, capture is actually showing a larger portion of the playing area than what they can yeah. actually see on their TV. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I think uh, I think I just probably missed that to be honest. Yeah. But, hey, at least I went back for it because that was important. Yeah, it didn't really end up costing you. Uh, too much. It was actually really close for, for the first uh, palace or two, but then yeah, you stayed on the east, and King Doll went back west, and that's what really I think was when you started to pull away. Finally. Yeah, there wasn't. Yeah, it was. There wasn't much to do really on the west after the first twenty minutes. I mean, it was. I mean, it wasn't that confusing of an overworld. It was kind of straightforward on the west. The east was a little bit of a troll with all the ca- caves you had to go through, but. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and also, I hated how um, I went and grabbed Downstab, and then the first item I find in Maze Island is the medicine, <laughs> which was Thunder, so I had to go back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we noticed that for sure. Yeah. That was annoying. But, I mean, besides that, I I think I had a pretty good race. I can't, I can't really complain about much more. P5 and P6 were... Uh, P5 could have been worse, actually. It wasn't too bad to find Guma. Neither was P6. Uh, King Doll ended up spending a bit of time in, in 5. Um, partially just because he was founding, finding some of the wrong directions. Right. When he didn't have his magic leveled up, he was still at... Uh, magic magic f- 5. Three, 5, yeah. Well, I guess you were too, though, when you were in... Palace. I think I was at Magic. Yeah, I was at Magic three when I was in Palace five, which uh, which was fifty. So I was like two Magic shy of two casts, which was the most, also the most annoying thing. Yeah, and we were, we talked about that. That was just a really bad roll for Fairy Spell. Yeah, like that was really the only. I mean, I would say I was a pretty generous seed. The only thing was just the palaces and the key blocks and the Magic requirements. And not finding more than one, more than two magic containers, just all of that yeah. combined, just made it brutal for for palace exploration. Yep. Yeah, the seed is a, a gentle reminder that even though you might find, you know, with relative ease, the glove, the raft, uh, thunder, reflect, um, and even fairy. It, fairy could be expensive, and the keys could be uh, difficult to get to. And nobody's, I mean, nobody yep. picked up jump either. So again, yeah, exactly. That jumper. Or cheap yeah. berry, yeah. Really yeah, even jump down. would have made it a totally different story. Cause I could have, I would have just grabbed all those keys in P4, probably all the ones in P5, etc. But that wasn't the case. But that's just yeah. how the seeds play out sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't take much. A couple of things in conjunction with each other can really uh, exactly create a puzzle. Well said. Well, you're the first. So, uh, uh, Three and O runner in this tournament, which means you're guaranteed a, a bracket slot um, in the next round of this tournament. So, congrats on that. Thank you. I'm I'm excited. Yeah. Um, what are the uh, What are the next uh, sounds uh, sets of flags, or maybe 
And maybe I should ask, what do the flags actually do? What are they going to be the conditions? Yeah, so uh, it's it gets progressively harder in the bracket. But the first round, I think we uh, turn on the... Or we take away your candle. Okay. Uh, we turn on the harder enemy set as well. Um, and I feel oh, like okay. there's I feel like there's one other thing that I don't remember. Maybe no extra keys. Something, oh man. Something like that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, first okay. Time. So it gets it gets uh, difficult quickly, but uh, you know everybody who's poised to pr proceed, I think, will be able to handle it. Yeah, definitely. How so? Uh, how far is King Doll right now? He's heading to GP right now. Yeah, just place okay. Cool. Gym. Nice. Did he? Uh, he didn't have too much trouble getting the glove, did he? Was that his last item too? No, he had that before you did. Oh, okay. The last thing he really got was the fairy spell. Oh wow. Yeah. That must have put him back a lot then. Well, uh, he he found the medicine in Maze Island, and so actually up to go turn that in. Uh, which was important, but you know, yeah, he didn't have fairy or jump, so he once he got fairy, he had to go back to to Mido again to get downstab. Right. And then once yeah. once he saw how expensive fairy was, I think he just spent a bit of time um, trying to grind up a little bit so he could take some higher magic levels. Yeah. I don't even I don't even know when magic or fairy got cheaper than fifty because I just dumped it from three to seven. Yeah, it went straight from fifty to twenty eight at magic six. So magic wow. seven was just yeah, it was all right there at magic six. <laughs> wow, so I actually needed it. That's crazy. Yeah, I King Doll he spent a, a bit of time, um, like he returned to Palace One. He'd already he went and he did dig the item out of it. it didn't turn out to be particularly good. Right. So he spent time doing that because it was a, it was a problem to solve, and and that was his approach. So that had to been somewhat frustrating a problem for him to, to take the approach of going to into a palace he already beaten. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then the he actually was only a couple hundred away from Magic Six and took a game over, so he had to grind it all the way back up. Oh, shoot, that's rough. That is rough. I did. I'll, I'll say I think I got a little fortunate finding the pea bags, and then uh, there was one. Or no, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a palace. I actually I found two Lizalfos that were like 500 exp, and then I had exp left over from a palace, and I was able to get attack five. So that really helped me out because that was just one less gem placement yeah. that I could spend. That to, to be spent on attack. I mean, yeah, you you were able to. Um, pretty quickly solve your problem by going into into P5, and I th that's a, kind of a difference. You know that you had a, a significant advantage in a certain way to solve this seed, um, because you're you're very good at the combat in this game. So going into Palace Five with you know three life, and you already had seven attack. Yeah. So, so I, I wasn't that afraid. Yeah. Right. You you did a. Your leveling plan is what really did it because you, you took out Palace Three, which you know Palace Three doesn't really require any particular stats in general as long as you can get through it. Yeah. You built yourself up, and then you went and you were able to beat Guma with ease with you know Attack Seven, where when King Doll came to the same juncture, he had you know P6 or P5 to go to. He went to P6, which oh yeah, I think was the right choice possibly for him. If he's not as confident that he's going to be able to do P5 with, you know, his levels, which were 555. Five, five. Yeah, definitely. See, my you, so, you noticed me. Um, I did dive into 6. When I had the choice between 6 or 5, I dove into 6, and I was like, screw it. I'm going to up it and go to 5, because I figured right. there would be less of a magic requirement for 5, and I could get through it. And then yeah. I would dump my magic in there, and then hit 6. Yeah, and that was a that was a really good plan, and, and I think... The, if you're capable of doing either one just as easily in terms yeah, of combat, yeah. then five is definitely the better choice. Yeah, if magic's an issue, definitely. <sighs> but um, I'm going to go. I'm going to head out, guys. Thank right. you so much for the restream and the commentary. Yeah, yeah good game. Congrats Thank on you, win. guys. I'll s yep, I'll see you guys in the next round. Right on. Well, uh... 
I'm planning to stick it out for King Dolly. He's fighting T-Bird now, so he should be done, I think, uh, shortly here. Can't be longer than 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, he just needs a death refill here and you can get a fight in. Uh, no jump strats for King Doll either, although I, I think he's probably okay with that. Yeah, I'm not really sure how many people um, who are in this tournament would prefer to have jump for this. I think it's probably less than half, right? Yeah, I, rando runners, I think, in general, seem to prefer not to use jump, so it's the heavy vanilla runners that are probably right. the ones uh, who would prefer to have it. Yeah, when you're you know, trying to speed run this game vanilla, it's definitely the strategy you want to practice is the one that is going to go the fastest, and because you can route the same way exactly every time, you can have jump for this fight. Yeah. Jump does, you can practice strategy, but when you're doing rando, you might not even have the jump spell. If you do, you won't be able to cast it. So, you know, if you're talking about investing time into uh, learning how to fight T-Bird, uh, the correct one is to do it with as little as possible. Yeah, and well, even if I have jump and can cast it, a lot of times I won't, um, just because I've gotten so used to doing it without. Well, exactly. That's what I'm getting at, is it... Um, I don't bother casting jump because I've I've practiced so much at doing it without that I don't feel like I speed myself up by using it. Yeah. And I'd... again, just like the the game, different from the other game, you got you got budget. You got to budget the rest of your stuff. After T bird, you're not going straight to Dark Link in the next room. Yeah. And and two, if you do use jump, I also feel like you oftentimes won't reflect as well since you're getting all up in T bird's face. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're just you're putting yourself right where the, the fireballs come out. So we saw King Doll cast Reflect a lot in this first room the first time, but now that he knows T-Bird's there, I wonder if he'll try and conserve his magic so he can get three stabs at T-Bird instead of two. Yeah. Uh, by the way, now is probably a good time uh, to mention, if you haven't already, you should definitely shoot these runners a follow. Should have said that uh, before. <laughs> Job spot, come on, man. <laughs> uh, should have mentioned that before <laughs> Rez left. <laughs> um, and if you'd like to, you could give... Uh, you know, send myself a follow as well. If I can spell commentary properly, which is not always easy for me to do. <laughs> Charles Bot. Oh man. Is that left over from Z1? I guess it must be. Yeah, that looks like a semi final match. Yeah. Or is that the third place match? I thought that was played on Speed Gaming, but then again, it's. Jaws bot could be anywhere. Yep. Jaws bot powerful. is everywhere. You just <laughs> don't always see him lurking in the shadows. <laughs> All right. King Doll's got a good good run going here on T Bird. A few more passes. Yeah, he's five or six hits away from finishing this, I think. But he's definitely uh, feeling the, a little bit of the need to be careful here. He's turned his sword away from the hits a few times just to make sure he didn't get hit. There he goes. No up A from King Doll. He's just going to power through. Uh, GP wasn't that bad, though, uh, if you take the right path, especially. Uh, he doesn't have upstab either, so... Yeah, it'll prevent him from taking one of the bad paths. Really just want to survive this room. 
Let me see if you can see what's in here. All right. Oof. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I don't know how he survived that, uh, but he Different did. Different varying, uh, varying damage values between the flying knife and uh, running into the body of the red fokker. I'm gonna go see if there's a fairy down here. I actually don't know how to recognize which one has the fairy. I do not either. That was the one, though, that uh, has a king bot jump out at you in vanilla. That's a little troll that they put in there that most people don't run into. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and so in the randomizer, sometimes you get into that alcove and it'll just be a, a skull bubble bouncing around in there instead of a king bot. Yeah. In this situation, it was the MOA. Which, if you don't know those rooms, which I think many people probably don't, then you'd have even harder time telling them apart without the cross. We got this really exciting fun room here in King Dolls. Oh, I was just about to say, he's still alive. Yeah, he was doing well. Probably just gonna ferry across now. Uh... He had his footing there, but he wasn't gonna mess around. So he's in the fairy room. We know down is the correct way to go. Um, he's going to hit another fun room and then... What's his plan here? He doesn't have upstabs, so this is dangerous. Get a little bit of height advantage here. But he's got his toe out over. Yeah, he was one block too low, actually, from where you want oh, to yeah. be. Yeah. But he couldn't get that high from his position, so he got the highest position that he could from where he was. But uh, oh, he'll be okay here, maybe. Uh, oh, I don't see this working out. Yeah. Push. Oh. So hoping to see a uh, push back there, but unfortunately, the other spell they didn't find was the life spell. So with only five heart containers, uh, he didn't. Oh get, yeah. He didn't get the six magic container either, which made that T bird fight a little more difficult than it. Uh, was for Rez because Rez could afford to cast Reflect. Or, I think he could anyway, or at least Shield. Yeah, yeah cast something. Um, but yeah, no, no jump, no life in the Grand Palace. Is a, it really makes these particular uh, rooms a lot more difficult to deal with. Uh, trying to avoid damage without the jump spell. In these rooms, you got blockers in the middle. Is it's actually not? It's nothing easy. Yeah, and you can't even really kill them that easily without uh, upstab. You, there is a strat without upstab to use, but it's a lot more dangerous. Yeah, it's just dumb. It's all, it's going to take too much time. And if you have to do it, you have to do it, and that's how you get through. But it's you know because of how much time it takes and how often there's a some alternate solution. I think a lot of people really have bothered much to care about fighting those. Letting us know how he feels about that little digger. Although honestly, having that extra That's, life might come in handy here. Yeah, not only is extra life handy, but that information of knowing that there's a, a you know knocked out one of the leftward dead ends. Um, while King Doll is going through here, we can kind of get some other of uh, the, uh, you know, usual announcement stuff out of the way and let you know what we've got coming up later on this week as soon as I pull up the uh, schedule. I think we have three races tomorrow at least, if not more. Yes, yes at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We'll have the Alan Heffley versus Prez J. Polk. We do not have a restream location for that uh, written down yet, but we'll get one. At uh, two hours after that, 9 p.m. Eastern, Error 72 versus Scorpion Max. That's going to be a great one. 
Yep, a couple of guys who were definitely on the vanilla scene way before the rando came out. Uh, Scorpion Max, notorious or, or well known for having the closest time to a sub 80 in all keys without going under. Yep. How much is he off by? Three tenths of a second? It, <laughs> it less than a second. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then an hour later at 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Dr. J, PhD versus Zarnax, 42. Yep. So three that, three great races tomorrow. Yep. Um, and then uh, looks like we got one on Wednesday, AA versus uh, Enchantress of Numbers. Should be another mm -hmm. great race, actually. Oh, yeah, that'll be a good one. Angry Larry and Buzz coming up on uh, Wednesday evening as well. Um. I'll be restreaming that one. That that race is going to be interesting. There's no way that race is not going to be fun. Um, a lot of great matchups this round, actually. A few that aren't even uh, on this list yet. Right. Uh, um, you're going up against Kulane, I believe. That's going to be another great matchup this week. Yep. Probably toward the weekend. Rose City Saint versus Dark Magician should be another really good matchup happening this week as well. So yeah, that, that should be a, that should be a very good race. Mm -hmm. And I think Kingdall's actually going the right way here. I think he's going to find Dark Link uh, right here in this very next room. Oh, all right. Oh yeah, Jam Evil versus Near. Yeah. The good, the good matches, man. Um, yeah, they, a lot of really uh, nice matchups. Very, very uh, close races. I would, I would expect. It's a kind of a nice thing about this format because at the beginning, you know, it was very, very much random what the matchups were. Uh, but as the rounds progress, I think it gets a little bit better at um, producing some. Uh, yeah, I think it it does it faster than double like elimination right away because. It, Elimination, you have several rounds of uh, fairly mismatched pairs. So there it is. Uh, King Doll going to finish this one up with a time of 145.29. Uh, very respectable time, actually, by King Doll. Uh, people talking crap about me in my own chat. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. The romp to drain the swamp. <laughs> yep. Joshy D and I are uh, have been trash talking each other all week, and I don't think it's going to stop. So uh, there will be some crazy antics from the two of us for the next five days. Oh yeah, you guys don't race for until uh, what day is that? Saturday. Saturday. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm hyped for the escalation here. I I think there's maybe one person who's cheering for me, and and my wife doesn't even really watch these races, so I don't know how much that counts. Uh, yeah, team, that doesn't count. <laughs> team Joshy <laughs> G is is uh, coming out in force. Mm. And it's his birthday. Oh man. Well, I got a crappy birthday present for you, Joshy D. It's a loss. Oh! I'll gift wrap it for you, though. Some nice seaweed. <laughs> you don't have seaweed in Swamp. What do they have, kelp? Yeah, I don't know. We got a, can we get a Swamp expert in here? <laughs> uh... I'm only a video game swamp expert. I cannot speak to actual real-life swamps. Uh, I think I've been to one once. I don't know how much that counts. Um, it doesn't actually look like King Doll is going to join us, though. He He's indicated in chat that he's not really feeling it right now. So uh, uh, that's going to do it for us. We're all wrapped up. V-Rez taking the win. Uh, hopefully King Doll will get a little nicer draw next time. Um, but that's just the way the format worked out for him this time around. He actually played a great round. He's got nothing to be ashamed of. So, yep, tough race. Uh, 
just a couple weird little puzzle pieces that uh, you don't see every time. And um, neither of them were really able to solve that P4 very easily. Yeah. Yep, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, cut this restream here, but hopefully we'll see you come check out some of these runs later this week. Uh, thanks for joining me, Yunos. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah, see all of you later.